guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you Nice, a beautiful city located in southern France in the French Riviera. Famous for its Italian heritage, delicious pastries and beautiful beaches. In this video I will be giving you some fun facts about Nice, my favorite places and everything you need to know about one of the most beautiful cities in France. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Good morning guys, so welcome to another video. Today I'm in beautiful Nice, Nice, France. So I got here two days ago and I've seen a little bit of uh, Nice. Nice is definitely one of the most beautiful cities I've seen in France. I feel such a beautiful energy in this city. It feels like people come here to just enjoy their time and relax and be with their family or also it's a very popular place for honeymoons so definitely a place that i recommend you visit if you are in france there's a reason why this place is so popular i was in monaco a few days ago actually and i didn't like monaco that much i mean monaco was always like my dream to go there and once i was there um, compared to nice honestly there's no way uh, to compare them like nice is so much more beautiful has so much character and it's really nice so if you want to get to nice it's actually not that easy uh, i feel like the trains usually in european cities uh, it's very easy for example if you're in paris you want to go to amsterdam or other cities nearby it's pretty easy you find a lot of train rides but for some reason here the trains are not are like are really expensive i don't know they are really expensive and it's not that easy to get here so i feel like the best way to get here is by plane there is an airport that's really small and it's like 15 minutes from the center so uh, i took a taxi from there and it cost me 35 euros i believe you don't want to get here by train unless you are in a very nearby city because yeah as i mentioned uh, the train rides for some reason are really really pricey and really slow so it, it, it takes a lot of hours to get here i used an airline called easyjet a lot of people complain about them and they say that they are really bad but honestly they were great i had a good experience you know as long as you purchase your luggage and everything that you have to buy you're fine i didn't have any problems so for some reason i thought this city was going to be very expensive because uh the French Riviera is known for being like a very upscale and chic destination so I thought it was going to be really expensive but it has not been at all actually uh, accommodation has been one of the cheapest so far uh, in Europe Nice is a very beautiful city, in fact it has a nickname which is Nice la Belle, which means Nice the Beautiful. It is the fifth most popular city in France and the second largest French city on the Mediterranean coast, with a population of nearly 1 million people. Like any other major city in France, Nice offers a very very good uh, culinary scene and street food scene. If you are a foodie, you are going to love this city. Uh, this market that you're seeing right here is called Cour Salaya and it was one of my favorite places in the city. In this place you will find very good food, fresh fruits, vegetables, souvenirs and it's a great place to walk around. As 
you can see I'm not wearing any like you know uh, winter clothing it's actually quite nice it's not warm but it's not cold either so I'm just wearing like a sweater that's pretty much all I'm wearing the weather in Nice in December is beautiful it's just a little bit chilly in the morning but then you know it's gonna get warmer I mean yesterday it was pretty warm during the day I feel like you don't see like a sweater or maybe like a jacket but honestly uh, the weather has been the best weather in Europe so far now I see why a lot of Europeans come to this city and you know stay for the winter because the winter here is beautiful it's a little bit like the winter in Mexico I feel like in the morning it's a little bit chilly and then it just gets warm uh, throughout the day and it's sunny as you can see the sky it's completely blue there is no a cloud inside So on this trip I'm staying actually quite far from the beach, I'm staying uh, very near the central train station of Nice. The Airbnb has been amazing though, I really really have liked that Airbnb. It's quite spacious and I don't know, I really have liked it so if you want to stay here in Nice I do recommend it, however just note that it's not near the beach at all, I actually have to walk at least like 15 minutes to get here but for me that wasn't a problem actually it's located right next to one of the most popular uh, shopping streets in Nice and if you walk straight all that street you will be here in this beautiful beach okay so I feel like it's become a tradition that I try some you know local food and well Nice has really nice bakery shops so because desserts are my favorite thing I just had breakfast and I'm ready for dessert so I bought uh, four pastries in four different places and I'm gonna try them with you and see which one are my favorite So I found this beautiful restaurant called Babel Babel and I'm having some wine. Uh, it's such a beautiful day, the weather is amazing. And well, I went to some bakeries before here and I can't wait to try all the local food that they have here in Nice. So I was on a market that is like right next to here uh, and I tried like a local um, pastry that they had in that market. It has pistachio inside. And I don't know, I just thought it looked really nice. So let's see how it tastes like. Oh my God. Wow. The texture inside, you know, the pistachio uh, feeling. It's really, really good. It has so much flavor. Uh, it's very crunchy. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna try is this chocolate that I bought in a chocolate shop that looks really really nice this one has gold in it apparently so mm. it's like dark chocolate it's not very sweet i also tried this one this one has pistachio in it and it has it's milk chocolate with pistachio mm. very good and I also tried this one. This one has passion fruit inside and it's dark chocolate, so. Mm. That was my favorite, wow. So the next thing I'm gonna try is this beautiful cake. This is chocolate and I think it has caramel in it. It has a uh, nut, oh, it has some nuts and some, um, raspberries mm, my God. wow <laughs> now this has been my favorite so far i don't know how to explain it it's not like a cake this is kind of like a mousse 
Um, it's a little naughty. Uh, this one has almonds and I think it has pears. It's kind of like a mini cake. Mm. This one is more dry. I think the middle part is good. I like this part here, but like the outside is a little bit too dry for me. I think I'm gonna give that later to the pigeons. <laughs> Okay, time for this one. I'm very excited to try this one. This is from a place called Lac Patisserie. <coughs> this pastry shop was the most beautiful pastry shop I've seen here in Nice. I forgot which one I got. I think, oh yeah, I got another chocolate. I think I'm gonna have insomnia tonight because I'm eating too much chocolate today. But this is when I got. So the lady told me this is like the best seller of the place. And I don't know if I should eat it with my mouth or if I should use a fork. So are you ready? I am. This is probably the best one. It's like a mousse kind of, you know, it's not like bread, it's not cake. It's like a very soft mousse. Oh mm, my God. Mm. Yeah, this one is the best one. This one is incredible. You know what? My favorite thing about France is the pastries. You guys know I love pastries. They're like so amazing here. They are really good at this. I mean, there's a reason why France is known for being like the capital of pastries and desserts. So I don't know if you've noticed, but Nice has a very strong Italian heritage. In fact, Nice used to be an Italian city. That's right, Nice was a part of Italy and it joined France in 1860. The Italians did not want to let the city go, but since the French helped them defend themselves against Austria, they offered the people to vote and the majority said they wanted to become France, so that's how Nice became a part of France. Now I am in a very iconic place here in Nice. It is called uh, Promenade des Anglais and I've been walking around from the castle. So as you can see right there is the Nice castle and you can walk all the way there until you reach, I don't know, it's really, really long. I think it's like a 40 minute, maybe 30 minute walk, but it's a beautiful walk. I think the sunset is gonna be in around two hours so i i'm gonna wait and i want to see the sunset here i think the sunset is going to be incredible but yeah this is called uh promenade des anglais and it's a very nice walk i actually want to go there right now this is called uh, le meridien and it's a very nice hotel and apparently it has a very nice view so i think i'm gonna go there right now and i'm gonna have like a drink or something and i'm gonna just enjoy this incredible view of nice Okay guys, we are finished. Thank you very much for watching till the end. If you are planning a trip to Nice, I hope this video helped you out. And well, if you like this video or it was helpful for you in any way, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I will see you guys on my next video. Take care and stay healthy.